Okay, guys, welcome, welcome. Cheers for joining us on this live. Just gonna wait for Liam to jump on and then we will dive in. Have a look. I know lives are about sort of 20, 30 second delay, so they're not all that live. Okay, I can see some people jumping on. Just give us a thumbs up when you're in here, just so I can see who it is. Um, Liam, if you're in here, man, um, give us a wave and then I can add you into this live. How's it going, guys? I can see a number of people on here. Philip, how are you doing, man? Hope you're well, hope your week's going all right. Wrapping up for the weekend. Got Mario here as well. Cool. All right, we've got a few guys diving on. We're just literally waiting for Liam to jump on. Uh, and basically what we're just going to do is just have a little bit of a chat with Liam. Um, I've been working with Liam for the best part of a year and actually knew him from old. Um, when I was an instructor in the army, he was one of the first recruits that tipped up. Um, so I put him through training, but then we kind of lost contact for about six or seven years. Um, and he ended up sort of leaving the army. And then that's kind of when we picked things back up. And that was about sort of 12 months ago. So it's a really interesting story. So Liam's here now. Let's see if I can add you in. Da -da 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 -da. Right, cool. Good to see a lot of people on here, all right, guys. I hope you had a wicked week. Appreciate you joining us here. This would be, this would be inspirational, all right. This is just such a good way to wrap up your week, all right, and go into the weekend with a new sort of focus. Um, so, this would be some feedback. You can hear me. Sweet. You how are you doing, man? I'm very well. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. How's your week been? It's been very productive. It's been a really good week as well got some recovery in started training again wednesday ready to be back way away good stuff let's do it man let's do it we're on the uh we're on the brink of success here so let's let's keep driving forward well i appreciate you jumping on man and i know we we work really closely together and have done for pretty much the past year and it's been amazing to see your transformation so let's kind of let's take it back a step let's because everyone's seen where you are um i mean we're posting all the time about your success among sort of others but take us back to i don't know like 12 months ago so 12 months ago i was in a very dark place and um, i had i had been diagnosed with severe depression and anxiety um a year before that diagnosis i had lost my career in the army um it was a dishonourable discharge, um, so I'd been caught with drugs. They drug tested me. I got kicked out, um, and that led to me losing my career, my car, uh, my relationship, friends, family. Um, I lost quite a lot, um, so I ended up, instead of finding a solution, I just thought drink and drugs was the answer to my problems going away, um, and it actually made me worse which led me to being suicidal. I attempted suicide. Um, luckily, I'm still here today. And from that, I decided to go teetotal completely. Um, next February, on Valentine's Day to be precise, will be two years I've been teetotal. And then that's when I reached out to you last October saw what you were doing how you were helping guys out and i knew i needed to turn my life around not just physically not just lose weight but mentally and to get my life organized and back on track definitely man and i really appreciate you uh reaching out for that support and i mentioned to the guys just before you hopped on that i used to be your instructor at Catarick, so i trained you so for the guys that can relate to being in sort of military training just think of your instructor and that type of sort of figure um, so I really commend Liam for reaching out for that support because not only is it incredibly challenging to do it in the first place being being men raising your hand and saying look I'm really struggling with my health my fitness I, I need some support here but then he had the additional the additional stress of like oh shit like can I can I approach this guy but I mean, you, you've broken down some serious sort of barriers and I think through taking that action, it's led on to so many sort of good things. So what, what kind of led you to, to reach out and what were, what were the kind of the emotions? Um, there was a lot of emotions going up on at the time. 
um, my family would walk and said, like, told me that they were on eggshells, walking eggshells around me just because of how I was. And I wanted to have control of my temper. Um, my temper was really bad at one point. Um, I didn't really know where to start because all I knew was the army from growing up. It's all I ever wanted to do, becoming a civilian. I really, I was a lost boy. I was a lost fish in a big sea, a very big sea. I didn't know what to do. Um, I saw what you was doing with your racing. So I thought, what have I, like, I had nothing. So I thought, what have I got to lose here? All I can do is reach out and that's exactly what I did. I was shitting myself. I didn't know <laughs> what to expect. Um, and I found it difficult to open up at first, but then I realized, you know what? It makes you much, up, it makes you as big as a man to open up. Like you are more of a man to open up about what you've been through and how you're actually feeling instead of hiding it away because hiding it away only makes it worse. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's difficult. There was a quote I put up the other day, um, and it says, "The man, the man who uh, raises his hand and asks a question is a fool for like a minute. The guy who never raises his hand and, and asks for that support is a fool for life." Um, and I'm not calling anyone fools here, but that that's the easy option. The easy option is just to just to be ignorant. And just kind of live in live in that shell and just be stuck in a rut. And we certainly see a lot of people doing it, and it, it's easier said than done. Like you, you think you can just pull yourself out of this hole? It's, it's a difficult sort of situation. Happen. Everyone <laughs> thinks, oh, that like there is a light at the end of the tunnel. However, it takes time. And now a lot of people, like especially myself, I used to think that's a load of bollocks. Like time isn't going to heal, nothing's going to change. And when you take action and think, come up, like, get the support you need and find the solutions with the support you've got, like, you start to see that light. Mm -hmm. Like, you hate its time. Time does heal, but you've got to be willing to take that hard path to get there because it isn't easy at all. Definitely. Definitely. I can really relate to, to what you're saying here as well. Like looking, looking back on sort of like dark periods of my life, like you, you, you can't control the external, like to a certain extent, but what you can control is, is your choices and actually decide to, to take action to better yourself. But a lot of us are like, well, I'll wait for, I'll wait for the right time. I'll wait till the stars have aligned. But in actual fact, like all we're doing is delaying our own success. Um, and a lot of the time we just, just go around in circles and I've, I've certainly spoken to people like two years ago that are still going around in, in the same cycles because it, most of us don't know a way out so i really commend you for for reaching out first and foremost and, and breaking down that big barrier because it's opened up so more um and guys watching this back be under no illusion it's not been plain sailing it wasn't a case of liam reached out and that's it the world changed did it fuck yeah. all right like when we're when we're faced with change, especially sort of massive change, it it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort, and you probably see us say it on all all the time. I'm sure you've seen uh, Liam on on social media quite a lot on, on mine in particular. But like, you've got to go slow. You've got to do this progressively. You've got to ease yourself into it. But what do we typically do? We we wake up and we're like, right, I've decided. To, to take action and change, but what do we do? We change like 52 things overnight, and then by Friday we've fallen short and we're like, fuck it, why bother? Because we've done too much, too soon, too high intensity, set our expectations far too high, and then we beat ourselves up when we fail. But if you flip it on its head and go slow, you will go faster over the long term, and that's certainly what we've, we've done, but still it's not been plain sailing, there's been sort of road bumps. So if you don't mind, Liam, just speak a little bit about your experience basically the the journey maybe the first few months to six months ago the first few months were pretty difficult and um, i failed a lot of times and there was a lot of self-doubt within myself because my mindset wasn't fully there i was still battling demons um, I still do to this day, however, like I have them under control a lot more than what I did a year ago. What 
I struggled like the nutrition side it became easier each day and um, but like you said what I realized is when I just focused on a couple of small steps each day instead of a million things I was making a lot more progress over time but then when I had the days where I felt like I needed to get everything done I ended up overdoing it and burning myself out and then that's when I needed to take a step back and remember what you and the coaches were telling me was to just take your time if you feel like you can't fit something in move it to another day um, and then when I implemented that I was actually progressing a lot better than rushing um, the mindset was a struggle for the first few months trying to get my head around things um, however with the support of you and the coaches I managed to turn that around which led to meditation and now I meditate between five to ten minutes every morning and that's been a real game changer for me 100% man 100% there, there's so much to this and I think when people look at I don't know fitness programs and, and things like that we just think well I just need to I just need to train hard I'm not getting the results that I want but with a lot of the the instances in the people that jump on this program of you've experienced there's so much more to the picture and expecting a result overnight is is possible <laughs> like you can get results in a matter of weeks but what's the point of getting those results if you're not going to continue to progress and build on them way into the future and that's what we basically say slow down and you talk about the mindset there let's Let's think of like mindset as like a thermostat. So think of that thermostat, that dial in, in your house for, for the heating. Now, our thermostat, our mindset is set in a particular place. And if we look at the fitness industry, if we look at what they're telling us, the misleading advice, the flawed education that they're pumping out. On top of that, we've got the military mindset as well, which is just no pain, no gain, smash it, push forward, get it done, or you're weak or you're a failure. So you've got all of this mindset and past programming and self-limiting belief of things that people have told you and you've, you've embodied because people tell you that and it's fixed. And until you start building your own confidence and just turning that dial and building that confidence and belief in yourself, it's incredibly difficult to move anywhere. So you can have the most fantastic training program. You can have the best nutritional meal plan in the world. But if this isn't sorted, yeah, you're not going to move very far. Right, so what Liam's saying here is, is bang on, just taking your time, but it certainly wasn't easy. We experienced it with a lot of guys, especially military guys that jump into this program. Not everyone in all instances, but rewiring that, changing that thermostat, changing that setting so that they actually can slow the fuck down, start subtracting things off of their, their to-do list and setting unreal expectations and making it all realistic so you can actually move forward. It's kind of like the tortoise and the hare scenario. <laughs> Be like, how? Why? No, I can't do it. And there's so much fucking resistance. But, I mean, what's one of the sayings within Primal that you hear regularly for all the people, especially for newcomers? Slow it down. Yeah. Take time. And um, it's too many. <laughs> <laughs> which, which one? There's, there's loads. Tr trust the process. That's is, the, the is the big one because a lot of the stuff that we say is is just out there it really is out there and a lot of people think well, how the fuck can that work anyway i'm going off on a bit of a sort of tangent but just, just a quick one with the trust the process trust what like for everyone that's watching and who does watch this trust the process but also believe in yourself that you can do it as well because if you're not believing in yourself then why are you taking that action? You've got to believe that you can do it. Taking that action, believing in yourself, just in the process, and you will go far. 100%. 100%. Sweet. So let's talk about more sort of recent times. I mean, everything we've been doing is pretty much sort of like a, a little stepping stone in the right direction. I mean, 12 months ago, like competing in fun wasn't even a thing. <laughs> like, you weren't really thinking of anything else it was more survival mode just blinkers on i just need to make these sort of changes now um but when when was the point when your goal sort of changed and, and where are you sort of from that point to, to now 
I had always been into fitness. Obviously, that stopped when I got kicked out of the army. Um, and then when I saw you competing, I was like, it just looks like a military course. I was like, I might as well give it a go, which then led to my first ever race at Marston Lodge. Um, and I thought, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it properly and go out group and compete. Um, and for my first race, I ended up placing third on podium, which I didn't expect. Um, my goal to hit podium was in 12 months' time. And within the space of so July, July, August, September, so in the space of four months, I've achieved two goals, which was to hit podium and to win gold. In the five races I've done, I've won two gold, a silver, and two bronze. <laughs> how does that? How does that feel? <laughs> it feels incredible, and it it blows my mind away because I never thought. I would be where I am now a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. A couple of years ago, I thought I would have been dead by now. You've changed, you've changed that thermostat setting. Yeah. <laughs> Slowed it down. Exactly, man. Well, I'm fucking incredibly proud of your achievements, man. Um, and I know like this, this really is the sort of tip of the iceberg. Um, and I mean, Liam has worked his ass off for this. Um, and guys, if anyone's not sort of like part of Primal, but you're in this community watching this now, like all these guys have been on a little bit of a journey. Um, you do have to work for it clearly, but it's not as much work as you would think. Um, and, and that's what guys say to me all the time as well. Well, I thought this was going to be harder in some aspects, but actually when you go slow, you, you gain more and sort of more moment, momentum. But through that and 12 months of, of graft, um, well, we're on the cusp of the last competition of the year, which is in about sort of two, two and a half weeks time, two, three weeks time at the end of the month, last weekend of the month, right? Liam's, Liam's set to be like one of the top competitors in the UK in, in his first year in, in Spartan and his, in his group, which is absolutely phenomenal. All right. He's done fucking better than I had when I first started out of this. I just completely winged it. Um, but through a lot of our experiences and, and the other experiences of guys on the team, like we've literally thrown all of our tools and resources into this guy and he's just taken this information, implemented it a lot of times with a lot of repetition and that's equated to his transformation. But I really do feel like this is the, the tip of the iceberg for you, man. I really do and I'm, I'm so proud of you and I know we know each other from, from previous, but there's big things ahead for you, there really is. I really appreciate it and I appreciate your support time as well good stuff man good stuff is there is there anything else you want to kind of add i don't want to just keep drawing this out i mean i just wanted to kind of get you on here and, and celebrate your successes and i know you inspire me and i know you motivate other people so for anyone out there that is struggling to speak up like in this brotherhood or on max page um just give me a message and we will have a chat because you'll be surprised how better you will feel after having, even if it's just a five minute conversation, like just talking about your problems. Don't shy away. Don't listen to society where people say, oh, you need to man up, you need to do this. Like, I hate this saying, you need to man up. Because what is manning up? Like, you, if you speak about your emotions, you're a weak man, which I believe, fucking bollocks in my opinion excuse my french as well because you hear it a lot in the army don't talk about your emotions you've got to be this cold solid black hearted killer that she's got to do the job and whatever problems you have just forget about it but then problems are always going to be in the back of your head so if you need a chat just give me give myself or matt a message okay don't be afraid speak up like you will do more damage to your mindset by hiding away 100 percent because wise words it really is i mean this, this is what this facebook group is about guys like that's why i created it i want it to be uh, a space where people can can reach out for support and have some fun as well and see some pretty cool shit and and be motivated and inspired by others right so really don't 
don't feel like you're going to be judged in any way, shape or form. People have put stuff in this Facebook group before and they've just been fucking booted straight out. All right. We're very selective of who we bring into this community. All right. And we want to continue to build it up. All right. And just give you insane value, support you in any way, shape or form and have a good time in, in the process. So it's good. Reach out. All right. I mean, it's, it's difficult. Like we said, for any, any struggle we have in life, um, the hardest part is just raising that hand in the first place and just getting over yourself, getting over your ego. But when you decide to change and make that choice and continue to make choices to better yourself, you will just gain more and more and more momentum and you become fucking unstoppable. And if you want proof of that, well, the man in front of you right now, he's fucking been through the hurt locker and he's standing here. And, and like I said, there's so much more to, to gain from, from what you're doing. Yeah, it's, it's fucking, it's above and beyond. I mean, what's, what's, the, what's the goal for the next year for you, Liam? The goal for the next year is to place top three in the European Championships in the UK. So at the end of this year, um, we'll be placed top three, just in my age group, um, for the National Series Leaderboard, which I'm currently second. Um, and then next year, it will I'll be moving up a category, and then it'll be qualified qualify for the European Championships and dominate the field when it comes up. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Good stuff, man. I'm proud of you. All right, and guys, appreciate, appreciate all of you sort of jumping on. Uh, I wish you an awesome weekend. A few of us primal lads are going camping, so it's probably going to rain, but that's what we're all about. But have a wicked one. Liam, I appreciate you. Um, you're, you're crushing it, man. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all later. Peace. Take care, Peace.